Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi and uh, today we'll continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is genetics and uh, we are studying the practical applications of genetics. So we want to ask ourselves uh, where genetics is applied in day-to-day -day, uh, life. All the concepts that we have learned uh, in this topic, they have a certain way in which they can be applied. Uh, number one, uh, genetics is applied in plant and animal breeding. In the plant and animal breeding. And this is where we breed to improve the quality of the animal or the plant. And uh, an example here, uh, you may have an animal like a cow that produces a lot of milk, which is a beneficial quality. But that cow is not resistant to diseases. On the other hand, you may have another cow that is producing less milk but it's resistant to diseases. So each of those two cows has its own advantage and disadvantage. So if you take uh, uh, the two cows and then you cross them or you breed them together, then you'll find that uh, the offspring that you will get will both yield a high amount of milk at the same time will be resistant to diseases. So that means that that is an improved uh, that's an improved uh, uh, animal, which in this case we call it a hybrid. It's an, uh, it's an animal that has uh, been brought about as a result of two separate animals with certain beneficial qualities. Now, <clears throat> so you can say that uh, uh, during plant and animal breeding, we do something that is called artificial selection. So we are saying that artificial selection is done. That is the selection by man to choose two organisms with beneficial characteristics or with beneficial qualities. that are not similar two beneficial qualities that are not similar and crossed to produce a hybrid produce a hybrid or an improved organism, an improved plant or an improved uh, animal. <coughs> uh, this principle of choosing two organisms with dissimilar with dissimilar qualities that are not similar with dissimilar qualities that are superior is called hybrid vigor hybrid vigor so you look for the vigor in a certain organism and another one and then you bring the two together to form a hybrid. And then the principle behind that is called the hybrid vigor. Now this hybrid vigor can either be done uh, either to preserve the good qualities or to improve the good qualities. So you can say that where are closely related 
organisms are bred together to retain certain qualities to retain certain qualities this is called in breeding crossing between members who are related like for example two uh, animals that have a related uh, background maybe they share the same mother or something like that so this one is done to retain the qualities on the other hand we have cross breeding this is the mixing of genes between unrelated between unrelated organisms of the same species <coughs> excuse me <coughs> uh, to improve quality so that is one of the areas where uh, genetics can be applied in plant and animal breeding so the same case can be done to plants and also for animals another area where genetics uh, is applied is in the blood transfusion and on that we say that uh, blood is screened uh, before can before transfusion can take place before transfusion can take place the blood must be screened first of all to check the compatibility of the blood groups to check the compatibility of the blood groups whether they are compatible and also to check for diseases so in this case we are saying that uh, the knowledge of blood groups is important during transfusion <coughs> to check compatibility both the a b o blood groups and resource factor are analyzed so the blood groups have to be in agreement and also the resource factor should also be in agreement before a blood transfusion can be done uh, another area where genetics is applied is in the genetic counseling and this is the provision of information <coughs> the provision of genetic information to identify the likelihood of occurrence of a genetic disorder so like in this case uh, genetic uh, ge genetic counseling can be done to a couple so that they can understand the likelihood that uh, maybe if their child is likely to suffer from sickle cell anemia which is a certain genetic disorder or if uh, they, they are likely to have a child who have down syndrome so 
by providing genetic uh, counseling or by providing information, uh, the couple is able now to make a decision on whether uh, to go on and bear the child uh, by analyzing the risks that are involved uh, thereof. <clears throat> we also have another area where genetics is uh, applied and this is in crime detection and this one is done through what is called the DNA fingerprinting. By analyzing the fingerprints, one is able to know whether a certain suspect is involved in a particular crime by dusting for fingerprints and then analyzing those fingerprints. So that's another area where genetics is applied. <clears throat> so we'll have an assignment on that. So in the assignment, the first question, what is artificial selection? B, what is a hybrid? And C, what is hybrid vigor? Number two, explain how genetics is applied in blood transfusion. Three, a person has blood group A positive. Uh, name the antigens present in the blood. And B, what are the possible donors who can give the person above blood? So we are going to stop there until next time.